What's up, Erks? It's Jarno here with some more Convoy. Last time we got a second Keeper drone, and today we're heading back out. So, let's get a move on. Now, right now, Glass Wheel is decently damaged, so we have to get up to this camp. However, we're very, very, very low on scrap, and we do need two more parts, and I think with this current Convoy composition, we might be able to win against the boss. Now, I'm not 100% certain on Glass Wheel, because Glass Wheel is honestly a piece of shit, but Ashley, Quad Coffin, and Super Blue, they're pretty amazing. So, let's go ahead and set course for the Hyperdrive Stabilizers, and we'll go ahead and do every radio beacon as we see along the way, and let me go ahead and adjust my sitting position, because I'm sitting on my foot. And I don't know why I do that. Sometimes I sit on my foot without thinking, and then I lose circulation, and it doesn't feel pleasant. Let me tell you, blood splattered vehicles coming ra come racing down towards you. Your transmitter picks up. Looks like meat is back on the menu, boys. Prepare to fight. Okay, who do we got this time? Ooh, they're all coming on this side. That's fine. Go ahead and adjust. Actually, we'll end fire on you, and we will adjust you to over there. Start leeching. We're gonna throw a mine down on you. And that mine is a little bit too far. I'm also going to close the distance between my convoy and these guys so they can't really get into the convoy, at least not all of them. Now, unfortunately, they do have a good amount of shots here. Let me try and push this guy out of the way. There we go. You do have a target. Okay. So right now, we need to adjust Ashley's target, ram this guy again, push him out of the way. We almost got Quad Coffin's target down. Throw a mine on this guy. Okay, we did not hit the guy I was aiming for, but we did hit someone, so that's still good. Yes, Captain. Alright, I'm actually going to move Ashley up and focus on the guy that Super Blue is attacking, because that way, together, they can beat the shit out of him and knock him out. There we go. Yes. Let's go ahead and change targets. Alright, another one down. He's about to lose his life right there. Change targets again, switch, and I want Quad to switch. Everyone switch to the last target, put some leech on him. We got some lethals coming up here, so I will be taking somewhat evasive maneuvers here. Although, yeah, I didn't think we were going to last long enough in this map to get to that. So 14 fuel, 38 scrap. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, yeah, that's what I think about that. Now, we do not want to go and repair at the ship, although I would like to because we want that achievement. We want that challenge to deliver all parts at once. Um, yeah. We really should repair up. Ugh, this, we're out of fuel, by the way. We're about to. There's a foul stench on the wind. Let's not tarry for long. We're about to run out of fuel, and there we go. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have went off-road. We've broadcast your emergency signal for some time when you suddenly spot a dust cloud approaching in the distance. Let's open radio channels. You open your radio channels. It doesn't take long for the, for the dust cloud to contact you. They appear to be civilian vehicles. Let's hear it. Greetings, strangers. Down on your luck, eh? We heard your emergency signal and decided to have a look. You're the guys who got here in that busted spaceship, right? We heard of your actions in these lands. How about we give you 15 fuel to help you get back on your way? Sounds great. Pleasure to help, we gotta look out for each other on a planet like Omec Prime. Thanks, now die. Another two scrap and twelve fuel, probably not the most good thing to do, but we can go repair now. Hmm. Looking out for numero uno, my convoy, nobody else's. Let's see, we have several wrecks, let us just ignore those wrecks and get repairs. We're still down to twelve fuel, which isn't a lot. And we can't even fully repair everyone. That isn't good. All right. Let's keep moving. Let's try for Sonic Screws, since they're not too far away. And maybe we'll have some easy times getting them. We're about to run out of fuel again here. I'm going to follow the road. All right. We are preparing for an attack as you warn the convoy. Several enemies approach rapidly. Looks like these roads aren't safe. We did take decent damage on the Glass Wheel and Super Blue. But we should be fine. There we go. Everyone adjust your positions now. I want you two to fire the guy with no shields. Because together, we 
guys should be able to take him down relatively speedy. There we go, yeah, look at that. See, the firepower that combined Super Blue and Ashley can put out is just outstandingly powerful. Look at that. Look at the damage they can do. It's crazy. Alright, we're doing pretty good here. We are taking decent amount of damage on Super Blue and Glass Wheel, but they were already damaged before. Let's get out of the way of this lethal. There we go. Everyone focus guns on him. Let's get a mine on this guy. And he's down anyway. He ran into a wall. Not bad. About to finish off this last vehicle target. And there we go. Another enemy force down. Super heavy railgun. Not bad. Probably put that on someone. So we're out of fuel now. Yay. You've been stranded without fuel for quite some time. One of your engineers approaches you. Let's hear it. Uh, sorry, I don't have any scrap to... Yeah. Sorry. Your frustration regarding your out-of-fuel predicament grows. Stomping around furiously, you kick against the side of your main convoy vehicle. A panel breaks off, and we get 18 fuel. So we actually do have a super heavy railgun for the convoy. Okay. I forgot that this was a convoy thing, not, uh... Let me go check this out. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's... I forgot this is... Not a convoy thing. An MCV thing. You see a sign distance, drive closer. Let's follow the directions to free trading... Let's try to flee, and unfortunately, wow! We did take a lot of damage, but we did get away. Glass Wheel just lost all of his armor in, like, one swift attack. That was crazy. Oh, fucking kidding me? Are you serious right now? We gotta keep moving. I don't know what to do here. Scorched Crater, let's investigate. Inspect the crater, you find three corpses next to what looked like what looks like to be some sort of broken elevator. The three corpses look out of this world, with one of them being an insectoid wearing a red scarf and an usually tiny human next to the enormous sword, and finally, to an enormous sword, and finally a human wearing an impractical tweed jacket, still clutching a pipe. Amongst the corpses lies a yellow pulsing crystal. Let's inspect it. Your engineers start tinkering with the crystal. But after mere moments, it disintegrates into dust. The cause is unsure, but the result is worthless. Damn. I'm guessing it's a reference to something. I'm sorry, I don't get the reference. We're out of fuel. Thankfully, we got a very low area here. Um... Take some parts of a vehicle. No, I'm not going to take a risk of destroying a vehicle. Sorry. Let's see what we got. We have... So, traveling caravan with privateers. Unfortunately, I cannot afford anything. Hopefully some nice civilians come along soon. Let's open radio channels. Doesn't take long. Yay! Civilian vehicles. Um... Blast them. 19 fuel. Thank you. I'm gonna go and repair. Yeah. There's no way I can do these missions without repairing first. Now, the only issue is we only have 10 scrap, so I don't know what I'm going to use to repair. I don't like this. The situation is getting bad again. I thought we were going to be good and investigate the mysterious object. A heavy rock. A heavy. It's a heavy, guys. A heavy rocket artillery. And no, we're out of fuel again. Come on, civilians. Civilians. Ugh. Okay, we kick it and we get nothing. Come on, civilians. Please come visit us. Give us fuel. Several, several vehicles approach your convoy, but stay out of your weapons. Long-range artillery. Let's prepare to fight. Alright, we have a few vehicles that are super close to death here, so I'm gonna get some repair drones going. Also get some leech drones ready. And let's go ahead and combine our weapons. Fire at these ones. These should take out the vehicles relatively fast. There we go. One already down. And that's just the combined firepower of our convoy. And we do have a lot of firepower, but... But, but, but... This isn't the most firepower we could have. I would like more. Let me finish off. Come on, finish this guy off. There we go. Fire, fire. Oh. Go back here. Fire him. Don't ram him. Oh, whatever. Whatever. It works the same. Get 
one up there. We'll just see you go here. Drop a mine. Bam. All right, we've got this fight in the bag, from what it looks like. He's got one last vehicle, and he is down. 30 fuel, 50 scrap. Awesome. Awesome. We've got some awesome stuff there. Should be able to repair the convoy now. We'll sell that. That's another 60 scrap. Damn. Should be able to fully repair everything. And indeed we can. No, we can't. Shit. Alright, that's okay. Actually, yes, we would be able to because I'm taking away one of the repair drones because... Mm, don't really like them. And there we go. Everyone's at full health. We do have a super heavy railgun mounted now, which is pretty good. Because the super heavy... I can't speak. <clears throat> He's a super heavy railgun. It's pretty fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we've seen it in action before. Uh, let's fix that strange noise coming from our vehicles because you don't want a strange noise rattling around inside the engines. That could result in explosive catastrophe. It's like, I like traveling through this little area because it's very safe. I don't know why I just tried to get a con or a, 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 an event there, but whatever. It's probably a small speck of distance. It looks like a person traveling, traversing this desert on foot. Let's approach them. As you get near, it turns out to be a person-shaped cactus. Desert must be playing tricks on your eyes. Ah, uh, indeed. Damned- oh, we're out of fucking fuel again, are you serious? <laughs> Shit. Uh, alright. We'll buy some fuel for 15 scrap there. That's okay. According to your data, a Torvac intelligence hub should be somewhere around this area. Investigate, after a brief investigation, you spot a massive building with the obvious signs of Torvac technology. There should be an intelligence hub that you're looking for. Auto charts. Let's radio them. Let's inquire about the sonic screwdrivers. Tormag uses a mobile platform for sonic screw production. The use of sonic screws is essential to our production of vehicles, checkpoints, and other projects. We suggest a rendezvous with the mobile platform if you desire a transaction. Please stand by for coordinates. Great. 206 kilometers away. And we're about to run out of fuel. If I'm going to run out of fuel, I want it right here. Somewhere safe. Kick it. Nothing happens. We'll keep looking. Come on. Alright, what do you want to do? We have no scrap. Sorry, Engineer. Thanks for your insight, but unfortunately, that proves useless. Long range artillery. Let's fight. We took a little bit of damage on Quad Coffin, but nothing significant. So this should be a somewhat easy fight. I'm actually going to adjust the positioning of everyone here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want these guys combining their weapons on someone super fucking weak. Wow, that was a one-shotter. So I'm talking about someone super weak, like someone with no shield. Because when these two combine their firepower on someone who does not have a shield, it gets explosively deadly. And look at this. We almost destroyed this guy. He has a leech drone, but still. Let's mine him. And there we go. That is one down. Start adjusting positions and firing on the other one with no shield. We have a lethal coming into play. We're going to get out of the way of that pretty easily. Put a leech drone on him. And there we go. Another vehicle down. Another vehicle down actually in the back there. Nice. And the last vehicle is about to fall too. Yeah. Again, not very hard if you go in this little kind of gray area where there's not that much... Uh, concentration of faction, you know? 20 fuel, 93 scrap. Pretty fucking cool. That's pretty good. That's pretty good at all. At all? That's pretty good at all. Yes! That's exactly what I wanted to say. Pretty good after all. That's actually not what I wanted to say, but, you know, I decided to salvage that anyway. So we are a, uh, we're at 121 kilometers away. Let's investigate this mysterious object. It's a heavy beam laser. Hmm. 110 kilometers away, we're not going to make it even to the con or the camp, I mean, so that sucks, because I really would like to repair a little bit and buy some more fuel. Let's open the radio channels. Civilian vehicles. Uh, blow them up. It would have been nice to get that much fuel, but I want repairs, so, you know. Alright, we shall repair you, and we shall repair you, and you, and you, and you. Now, do I want this to go on anyone? Hmm. Yes, actually. I'd rather have him with two big lasers. I think that'd be a very good idea, honestly. 
buy a little bit of fuel with what scrap we do have. We have 12 fuel that is not going to get us to the Sonic Screws, I don't believe. Um, well, it's going to get us close. It's going to get us within the map, but that's it. Sorry, we cannot pay for this. Hopefully you guys will give us some fuel for saying no to your checkpoint. That'd be very nice of you, actually. Them. That should be destroyed relatively soon. Until these guys stop moving in and blast that one. Boom! Almost dead already. And that is why I love the super heavy railgun. Plus these twin lasers are fucking amazing too. Another one by the dust. Woo! Move up, move up, move up. Fire. Leech drone on him. Mine this one. Boop. Out of the way. There we go. Alright, we are down to the final vehicle, and that vehicle has now fallen. Congratulations for 14 fuel and 37 scrap, along with a light rocket artillery. What do we got here? What are they going to tell us? Upon arriving at the, pers at the presumed location, not the personal location, the presumed location of the Mobile Sonic Screw platform, God, whenever I say Sonic Screw Platform, I want to say Pratform. <sighs> Sorry, Chris is not here today. Pratform will have to be for another day. You easily spot a hulking vehicle in the distance. Approach it. As you approach the mobile platform, you are being contacted on the radio. Welcome to the glorious site of the mobile Torvex Sonic Screw... Fuck, I almost did it again. Platform. I don't know why I want to do it. Please state your business. We seek to purchase some Sonic Screws. 500 scrap. Yeah, no. It'd be really... Okay, I was about to say, it'd be really fucking cool if this was an MCV, and it happens to be an MCV, and it has rail guns, and I'm scared of it. This is really cool, though. I'm gonna get my two biggest vehicles up laying waste to it as fast as possible while I leave my small vehicles behind to do their thing. We already tore through its armor. It's crazy. You just have to be very careful. Oh, the railgun is turning. Hey. Get him away! Woo! We have to just watch that railgun. Oh man, he has one of those invulnerability shields too. Okay, back weapons hey. up. Let's go ahead and focus on that guy over there. Nope. Alright, we got a laser coming in. Get out of the way of that. Go ahead and mine this guy. I really honestly was not expecting the MCV. That's why I was like, oh, it'd be really cool if it was an MCV. I didn't think it was going to be. I knew there was a Torvac boss, I just wasn't sure how to fight the Torvac boss, which this is cool, I like it. Now, if we see that gun turning, we have to make sure we... Oh my god, there's a lethal coming down there. I almost lost my best Keeper drone, um, because... Uh, wow, <laughs> that was too fucking close. See, that's what happens in these boss fights. I don't even fucking realize... He just shoot... He's turning his rail. He's turning his railgun. That railgun is aiming for this vehicle. Yeah. Alright, move up to fire. Shields down. Keep moving up. Let's finish this one off. You go ahead and focus on that last guy. Dropping those. Yeah, he's aiming his railgun at this vehicle in here. I don't know what he think he's doing there. What he think he doing? What he think he doing? Alright, now finish off this last MCV target. Shouldn't be too difficult. I am going to keep moving back and forth, though, so his railgun does not stop on me. Don't know if this is actually doing anything, but he hasn't fired yet, so it must be doing something good. And there we go. Oh, no, we activated the shield at the last second. But there we go. Techno Troubles. Achievement unlocked. Not much damage. 9 fuel. 47 scrap. We got the... Wait. Upon inspection of the mobile platform, you easily acquired an ample supply of sonic screws, which you transfer to your MCV. They should prove plentiful for Spaceship Mercury. And there we go, the Torvac mini-boss. Well, I guess it's not really a mini-boss, it's an actual boss. Boss has been defeated. And he has joined you on your... Oh yeah, that's right! We already started the Hyperdrive Stabilizer quest, we just have to fight people for Andy. So anyway guys, I think I'm going to end today's survival here. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!